good start to the week. Uh, lots of enthusiasm, lots of uh, uh, energy with respect to uh, getting ready to play our last home game and, and looking forward to uh, hopefully playing a great game. Uh, it'll, we need to play that way. We're going to play a team that's very uh, excited about being here, coming in, uh, and uh, it's going to be a, a whale of a football game. We need to make sure that we show up with everything we've got. Questions? Tony? Tony uh, practiced today. I'll get more word about how he did later, but I didn't get any word that anything bad happened. So, uh, Well, I was focusing more on the offensive side. I'll look at film tonight and let you know. What exactly were you focusing on the offensive side based on what what you learned coming away from the Utah game? Well, we, we're not there yet as a consistent entity. Uh, we played two pretty good games and, and uh, went uh, back to Utah and didn't play as nearly as well as we needed to to gain a victory over a good team. And, and we've got to come back, go back, and, and get better. Uh, and hopefully we can do that in the friendly confines of the Rose Bowl. Does it frustrate you at all that this far into the season you're still trying to put it together? Uh, yeah, frustration is a fair word, but uh, there are lots of teams that don't do it every week, you know, and, and that's why this conference is so uh, competitive. People are beating people that, uh, you know, the experts didn't think possible because everybody plays hard, and uh, we just didn't play as well as we could have, and it cost us. So we've got to come back and play uh, inspired again this weekend and, and see if we can't get our sixth win. What does it mean for uh, you to be able to play against uh, John Embry? And what do you think it means for Taylor Embry? Well, you know, John's a close friend of mine. He and I go way back, uh, spent a lot of good years together, and, and uh, it'll be a, a treat to be opposite of him on the sideline. You know, you never like to compete head-to-head -head against close friends, but uh, but uh, both of us, I know, will do just that. We'll compete. And, and uh, as for Taylor, you know, he's from the same from the same bloodline, he, he's going to compete too, and, and it, it will be a spirited game. Coach, with senior day, uh, these are obviously players that you've been with all your four years. Can you talk about just this class of players and what you've been through with them? Well, I'm thrilled that uh, you know I get to see my first class off here, and uh, you know it's a uh, those are emotional days. You know, there's a lot of blood, sweat, and tears that go into these uh, these four and five years as you uh, try to help build a program back to uh, respectability and. And uh, these guys have worked hard, and, and we have a chance uh, by playing our best game on Saturday to, to uh, move in that direction. And so uh, not only is it uh, emotional from the standpoint this is the last time they get to line up in a home uniform at the Rose Bowl, but it's also uh, uh, a chance to really do something in, uh, in terms of uh, leaving behind something they can look back and be proud of. Is Anthony Jefferson going to play? Uh, he's been cleared to play. Uh, whether or not he's ready to play is another question. Mascarenas, I think, will get cleared here this week. Yeah, I don't know in what capacity he'll help us this week, but it's nice to have him back. <coughs> Anything else? All right, thanks.